We have more details tonight after an openly gay student was allegedly targeted and jumped near the University of Alberta. The 26-year-old says the attack made him question his identity and his safety in our city. The CBC's John Robertson is following this story and is outside EPS headquarters. John. Portia, EPS confirmed today that the hate crimes unit will be investigating the attack. Chevy Rabbit works as a makeup artist in our city. He's been openly gay for years. Sometimes I forget that I'm, I'm gay. I, like, I'm really comfortable with myself. I kind of forget that I have a, a, a full face, a may, may, uh, makeup on and stuff. I'm just really at ease with myself. He often walks to the grocery store near his house by the U of A campus. But last Thursday was different. Four people in a car pulled up beside him and started yelling homophobic slurs. I just said thank you to him and I continued walking down because uh, I, I didn't want anything to do with it because like, I just... I was really embarrassed. My face was red and my ears are red and I went walking down the street and then um, I didn't realize one of them had gotten out of the car and then basically ran down, tackled me down to the ground, just right by that box right there. He got like hit from behind and his phone was stolen. And meanwhile, the car was backing up to pick up their friend. Matthew and his friends were also on the busy street, saw it all happen and jumped in to help. There was other guys in the car. There could have been four guys on one person. He could have been like, like seriously injured there. And there was enough of us there that we felt like it would have been better to do that than to just simply watch him, watch that happen. The attackers grabbed Rabbit's cell phone and took off. Now he's thankful that there are supportive Edmontonians ready to lend a helping hand. Like I wasn't alone. I got, they helped me. They were straight guys. And they helped me during my time of need. But he still doesn't feel safe enough to return home, at least not yet. I shouldn't be really nervous because then you're giving other people power over you. So why would I want to give them power? So I'm just going to live my life. I'm going to put on my face and I'm still going to like be here. A police spokesperson told me this afternoon that they have not made any arrests yet. Portia? Thanks, John. The CBC's John Robertson at Edmonton Police Headquarters.